seeing have been right here tucked in this little cove at Rodea Point and look at these bridges it really is just so beautiful on this Oregon coast so we just left the Devil's Punch Bowl now heading up to the Yakina Lighthouse starting to come. This whole Oregon coast is littered with these lighthouses like this. today but the van is chaos my vent started leaking long story short I got a bucket went to Ace Hardware they had marine adhesives if it's good enough to keep a boat from sinking it's good enough to stop my RV leaking adhesive that I used last night did its job. It stormed most of the night and I kept waking up because I was paranoid that it was going to be dripping on me. Pat the blankets and see if it was dripping anymore. Fortunately, it did not. It's only like 50 degrees outside, but I am shirtless <laughs> to just soak up oh, the sun. I feel like I haven't actually had sunlight on my body in like two weeks. To finally dry out all of my shoes, my water hose, all my towels hanging up. It has been an adventure that is for sure. Definitely have not filmed things like I thought I would. And honestly, I don't really care. I'm just gonna slap this together and uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely tougher than I expected to go down this coast and just to be in cold rain all the time. So I'm really gonna enjoy 
what sunshine I have right now. <sighs> oh, this is nice. This is like a beach I'm used to at home. I'm gonna continue driving south towards Brookings and Gold Beach, which are two of the last towns on the Pacific Coast Highway in Oregon. Two scenic corridors. Look at that. So I'm up on Cape Sebastian right now. Hope you enjoy this drone footage. Honestly, the US is so beautiful. And another beautiful thing about being in a van is you can change your plans however you see fit. I was thinking I'm gonna drive all the way to Crescent City, California, but now that I'm seeing how pretty this is around here and after checking my iOverlander app, just down where those rocks are, there is an overlook and then tomorrow I'll cross into California. This is natural bridges here on the southern coast of Oregon. I literally have no idea where this trail is taking me. There was no sign, but it's clearly a marked trail. We're gonna find out. No idea where this trail leads, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming it'll take you down to the bridges, which are down below me. We're gonna find out. Now, I'm realizing... Now I'm realizing I'm on the Oregon Coast Trail, which this trail goes the entire length of the Oregon Coast, one of those long distance trails. So, I'm gonna go back to the car because I am not hiking this. So this is the Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor, the last little stretch of Pacific Coast Highway in Oregon before you enter into California. These old forests are just so crazy looking. Oh my god. I am tripping big time. This is such a pretty trail. Like look at this. You just push through the brush and you pop out at the ocean. Picks you out on this beach. It's an interesting color sand. Look at that. It's like tiger stripes. Well, this is a cool last thing to do before I leave Oregon. Oh, 
onwards to the next place. First, we gotta go back up into the forest. On your... Look at these light beams. 